Badger Farm Girl here, another boot boot review. Um, probably as you can tell I did another review earlier which on the Iron Rangers that I have, but these are the mock toes that I have. These are the 1907 copper red wing mocks of the Heritage line. I've had these for approximately eight, nine months. I got them earlier in this year um, to, to replace the old beat up boots I had to do um, hay baling hay, help baling hay I should say, and uh, moving hay back and forth from where I store it for my horses. I've wore these initially when I first got them for off and on for about a couple hours here and there because these boots are pretty tough to break in. Um, I compare these to some of the combat boots I wore when I was in the service but I did know when I did have a good pair of boots the break-in period was well worth it in the long run but you just had to spend the time in them. These boots are no different. These boots come with uh, leather laces, and there was another pair that it came with were uh, more of a waxed uh, fab fabric material, which I didn't even go to. I ended up putting these in right away. Um, over time, they have stretched a little bit. They, they have gotten long, but the cool thing about them is you can actually nip them and kind of get them to a length that you really, really are comfortable with. These are the six-inch uh, uh, height on them. I think there's a pair that are even higher. I went with the six inches because I do roll my ankles. Um, I have ro rolled them. They've, it happens every once in a while. I step on an uneven surface my uh, ankles roll. So that's why I kind of went with a higher boot. Not a real high boot, but a boot that was higher that protected my ankles. Um, that helped prevent the, the rolling. Um, the patina on these boots, have I, I have to admit, have gotten better over time. Um, they are a little pricey, um, probably pricey for going out and, and doing the work, but the reason I did spend the money on these is because they can get resold. I had a pair back years ago, they were the Irish Setter versions, and I ended up getting rid of them because the soles were out, and I did not realize at that time you can get them resold. Um, but now, you know, 20, 30 years later, I, I got myself another pair. See to wear my my heels out on the outside. You can see that both of them are kind of like that. Um, I'll probably get another year, maybe two years out of these boots. Maybe not. I don't know um, before I get them resold. Um, but I don't know what I'm going to put on the next time. There are so many cool options out there as far as reselling shoes, which makes it kind of exciting and actually does not prevent me from not wearing them because of the the wear out factor. But um, we'll see when that time comes. But as you can see, the patina on these boots are pretty cool. Um, when I first got them, and you were, I was a little afraid to start wearing them because they look so cool, and I was really like, oh, you know, I can't get them dirty, blah, blah, blah. But that's, that's why I bought these boots. I just got a horsehair brush, knock off the dirt on it, and they're pretty much good to go. Every once in a while, I'll put some mink oil on just to give them a, a protection from moisture. Um, but do know that if you do that they will get darker but not to the point where they turn black but um, I had these out this morning it was a little bit rainy um, went out you know put the hay to the horses and came back in and you know knocked off the the, the hay that stuck to them and then just took them off and left them to dry the break-in period on these boots I would say is probably a good couple months um, when you first get them um, I would wear them around the house for an hour or two, you know, just so your, your feet start to sweat a little bit and the, and the leather starts softening and forming to your feet. Um, the first time I took them out and wore them for a length of time, I think it was like a four hour, I went out and did something and came back and my feet were pretty much beat up um, to the point that it was painful to walk and I had to get out of them for a while and give my feet a break. Um, then I did another stint for a whole day, same thing got out of them for a couple of weeks and then got back in them again and it seemed like everything kind of fell in place with these boots. Now I can wear them all day from the time I get up to the time I go to bed and no pain, um, no, no blisters, no nothing. So just know that when you buy these boots that that's probably one of the downfalls. You're not, unless you're lucky, you might get in them and be able to wear them right off the bat. But I don't think if you look at other reviews online or on YouTube, everyone pretty much goes through that. What I ended up doing when I first saw these boots on uh, Red Wing's website, I did find a store locally to go try them on. 
um, because they don't fit like other shoes. So just know that going in. And these do fit different than my Iron Rangers. So please take the time, go to a Red Wing store and those, the people will help you and get you in the right boot and the right size so you have a great experience with these. There are so many cool colors that they have now. They have a, a men and women's line um, of these boots. So don't, women, don't be afraid of these. These are pretty cool. Um, I start seeing the young kids are starting to wear these. So um, not that I'm a young kid, but um, I just love these boots. So Red Wings, Mox, 1907, one year review. Would I do it again? Absolutely. And I might do it again with a different color. So here's a bit closer look at that. If you can see the soles. But this leather is like a good saddle leather. Um, the more you wear them, the better they get. So again, Red Wings.